hello and welcome myself rehan ali and today in this tutorial we'll see how can we write code to print these four patterns as you can see here we'll first draw solid rhombus and then the hollow rhombus hollow rhombus with cross and the last one hollow rhombus with diagonal so now without any further ado let's get started all right so before writing our program to print rhombus patterns i highly recommend you to please watch the previous tutorial in which i have shown you how to draw different types of square patterns as the rhombus pattern is the next step of square pattern you can find the link of that video on top right corner or i have also included the link of that video in the description of this video all right so i assume that you had already finished that tutorial now let's start it with this one this is the square pattern that we draw earlier. Now we'll see how can we write our code for printing this rhombus pattern. Here in square pattern, we have number of rows as 7 and also number of columns as 7. Similarly, in rhombus pattern, we have number of rows as 7 and also number of columns as 7. But in rhombus, we print this extra part here. This part is nothing but these spaces. For better understanding, see this figure. Here, instead of printing spaces, I printed hashed symbols. Consider these separate parts as call values. You will get this idea very soon. But by looking this figure, we can simply count the number of spaces required. The value of symbols or spaces is varying from 6 to 1. Like in the first row, number of spaces or hash patterns required are 6. And in the second row, it is 5. And similarly in the third row, it is 4 and so on. By looking at this problem, I have two approaches in my mind to solve it. One by using if else block and the another one is by using one extra for loop. We'll write our code here by using both of these approaches. Basically I am talking about this part. Here the outer loop will be same but this part will be changed by either using if else block or using one extra for loop. We'll see this in a while. So let's see the first approach. Here the number of rows are 7 but number of columns are varying from 13 to 7. We can say that the outer loop will be same as before like this one because we need number of rows as 7 here but in this part we need to make some changes because now instead of running this loop 7 times as we did before for printing square pattern now for each value of row we want this part to be run from 13 to 7 like here when row value is 1 call value is 13 and when it is 2 call value is 12 and so on and uh, this value 13 is also depends on the number of rows for example if number of rows are 7 the value of column will vary from 13 to 7 and when the number of rows are 9 this value will be vary from 17 to 9 and also when the number of rows is 5 call value will vary from 9 to 5 you will get these things clear in better way by looking these two more outputs here by looking at these values of columns we can clearly see that the values of the first rows are nothing but the doubling the value of num rows minus 1. But we can't use this condition as it is here because if we use this condition here, we get the same values for each rows. Here it is 13. But we want this value to be decrement each time by 1. For this purpose, we have to use some dynamic variables here, which will vary from 1 to 7. We can use some temp variable as this and increments its values after printing each row. This will definitely works, but here in this example, instead of using extra temp or variable, we can use our row value here because this value is also varying from 1 to 7. It means that our final condition will look something like this. Now we have to use if else block to print these two different parts. Here in if block will print spaces and in else block will print stars. Here also, value of spaces is varying from 6 to 0 because last row doesn't contain any space. So here, same as this condition, instead of multiplying it by 2, we can use this condition here. It will vary from 6 to 0. This is what we want here. That's it. Now let's write our code for this. Here, this is the condition that we derived earlier. Now in this code, where value of numbers is 7. Always so we get our rhombus printed here. This will work for any values of numbers. Now change this value to 9. Let's see how it is printed. Again we get our rhombus printed here. And yeah, this is our first solution to solve this pattern. Now let's see our next solution. Here this code will be as it is. This is the code that we had written for our solid square pattern in our previous tutorial. 
as we have to print these spaces before this pattern symbol we'll use another inner for loop to do this job as like this one it simply means that instead of running this for loop for each row now we'll use one extra loop that will also run for each value of row here order of these loops matters therefore first loop is responsible for printing spaces and the second loop is responsible for printing pattern symbol for printing spaces as we know that when number of rows are 7 spaces for first row are 6 and then for the row value 2 or the number of rows is 2 we have to print spaces 5 times and uh, for value of row as 3 we had number of spaces as 4 and so on it means that we can write our condition as like this we already wrote this condition while solving this problem by using if block here for row value 1 this loop will run 6 times as numbers are 7 here and for row value 2 this loop will run 5 times because 7 minus 2 is nothing but the 5 and so on and yeah this is nothing but our second solution of this pattern let's give it a try here we include this condition now run it and yeah we get our rhombus pattern printed here but this time using this extra for loop Alright, so we just need to add this for loop in our next patterns and uh, as you already written code for these patterns in previous tutorial such as hollow square, hollow square with cross and hollow square with diagonal you can simply modify them by adding this extra for loop in those patterns as I am showing you here in this one you can also find the link in the description of this video from where you can download source codes of these patterns and uh, yeah if you like this tutorial please hit the like button and share it with your friends and also if you are new on the channel please subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss out any incoming videos like this one and that being said i hope to see you in the next video